Good morning everyone, my name is Sir Randy and today we will discuss about the physical states of matter and their properties. So that is the first lesson in quarter 3. In this module, the first question must be, what is matter? Well, matter is everything around us. Atoms and compounds are all made of very small parts of matter. Those atoms go on to build the things you see and touch every day. Matter is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space. Second, let us also unlock the term volume. Volume is the amount of space something occupies. Words such as big, small, long, or short are used to describe volumes. For example, a marble takes up a small volume while a star occupies a large volume. Different states of matter will fill volumes in different ways. Let us also define mass. This is actually a very important term to unlock. When we say mass, it is the amount of matter in an object. When we were in elementary, we are confused about the difference between mass and weight. So this time, let us clarify this confusion. When we say mass, it is a measure of the matter in an object, while weight is a measure of gravity's pull on an object. And according to my, my research, when we say mass, mass is constant while weight is changing. This time, let us study the different states of matter. Let's start with solid. In a solid, the particles are closely packed together. Forces between particles are strong so that the particles cannot move freely but can only vibrate. As a result, a solid has a stable, definite shape and a definite volume. Solids can only change their shape by force, as when broken or cut. Examples of solids are, uh, let's say this one, a mouse, this is a solid. We also have here a mobile phone, a solid. And of course, uh, the box of a stapler is also an example of a solid. Next is the liquid. Liquids have definite volume but no definite shape. It takes the shape of its container. Liquids flow because particles are free to move but are still attracted to each other. Examples of liquids are water, juice, and, and oil. And lastly, we have gas. Gases have no definite shape or different volume. Well, gas is the state in which matter expands to occupy the volume and shape of its container. Gases have low density which contain scattered molecules that are dispersed across a given volume. Particles of gases move in random motion. Yes, they move in random motion with little or no attraction to each other. Gases are highly compressible. Examples of gases are a boiling pot, you see their gas, see their gas, the clouds, and what's inside the balloon, and of course, the air that we inhale are examples of a gas. But wait, they are also called, they are also what we call the non-matter. Well, when we say non-matter, it is not a type of matter, but it is actually a form of energy. So we are, some, we are sometimes confused about this uh, non-matter. Non-matter is not a type of matter, but a form of energy. Non-matter includes the light. 
the heat from the fire and the sound of the police siren. You cannot hold, taste, or even smell these things. So those are non man All right, so this time, we will study the different properties of matter. Properties of matter are actually categorized into two, the physical property and the chemical property. So let's start with the physical property. Physical properties can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. Example of physical properties are the appearance, mm -hmm. the texture, color, odor, melting point, boiling point, density, and even solubility. So that is the physical properties of matter. Moving on with the chemical property of matter. Chemical property of matter can be observed or measured as a substance changes in identity. So there is a change in identity when we talk about the chemical property of matter. Examples are ability to burn and reactivity. There are also other properties of matter. Well, other properties of matter includes hardness, flexibility, malleability, and electrical conductivity which vary from one sample to another. Once again, you have the hardness, flexibility, variability, and electrical conductivity. But take note, they vary from one sample to another. Okay, so that ends the first module in quarter three, which is the physical state of matter and their properties. So if you have questions about the lesson, feel free to leave a comment in my YouTube channel. And please do not forget to subscribe to Randy or Boy Abunda. Thank you very much and God bless you all. See you next time.